What's going on guys, me David here back for another shave. It's been a little bit, man, just starting off at work has just been pure chaos. Pretty much for the last three weeks, I've been pretty work, putting in about 12 hours a day. So you can imagine that puts a little bit of a drain on the energy to be able to do the video. So really been lagging in. Hopefully next week will be the last week where I'm super busy. So this next week or so is still going to be a little bit wonky, but hopefully after that, things will kind of settle down, smooth down, and I'll be able to get back into a flow, man. Because I'll tell you, with work being busy and then being in there so goddamn long with football practice, that whole deal, I am done at the end of the day. So um, got a cool little video today. First off, I want to announce the winner of um, the a and &E Pistachio... Um, set both the soap and aftershave again sorry for the delay but it just again life got crazy but here it is so uh, Miguel does it hopefully I'll be able to flash a little bit a little bit of a name down here at the bottom somewhere Miguel does it uh, Miguel drop me an email at d.g3 at live.com and I'll get your address or if you want to hit me up on Instagram through DMs uh, Facebook Messenger the whole deal uh, so, uh, so sharp David, so dot sharp dot limited. Any one of those, Miguel does it. You are the winner. I'll have that out in the mail to you. Uh, shit, the, the day after you actually message me. So, thank you so much for participating. And on the next video, I will announce another giveaway. And again, hopefully, it won't be such a fucking disaster of a month uh, to where it delays it on there. So yeah. So go ahead and drop me a message for that one today. I got uh, another Hags soap. This was once again sent to me by uh, Sefferton Shaves. Sefferton is just an animal. He just, he he wants to see me do content, like probably more so than anybody that I've ever seen. He's been a huge supporter of the channel and um, he wanted to hear my thoughts on, I believe this is one of the older bases from Hags. This is their vegan base. I, the name of the soap is Undertow. And it has the scent notes down here at the bottom. Top notes of pineapple, bergamot, blackcurrant, apple, middle of birch, patchouli, Moroccan jasmine, and rose, and then a base of musk, oak moss, ambergris, and vanilla. Vanilla? Why not just vanilla? I don't know. There's something in here. And, okay, I just realized what it is after reading the scent notes. The patchouli is coming out. It has a funk. That that is unfortunate. I think if you remo remove the patchouli from this soap, I think you have a kick-ass scent. But the patchouli is actually very very strong. I don't know if with age it kind of developed and matured and kind of came up, but the patchouli is very very strong. Um, because pineapple, bergamot, blackcurrant, apple sounds phenomenal as the top notes. I love the base of musk, oak moss, ambergris, and vanilla. But yeah, the patchouli, again, jasmine, rose. I don't really pick up much floral out of this, but that patchouli has a funk in it. That, that is pretty damn unfortunate. And also, we're going to be revisiting the copper can, the Ellsworth copper can, this time now with the, with the plus plate. They're more aggressive plate because I just, I did not like the original plate that came with this for me it is just unusable it's a non-starter i would never consider having having that razor because it just doesn't fit my needs it really really doesn't which i predicted at the beginning of that video and um i believe his name is sean i could be wrong uh, damn it he was on bbs live like the day after i did the first video and he was very cool about it he understood my preferences i explained my preferences in the videos you know, he didn't get offended. He's like, yeah, as soon as as soon as he heard how I like my, my razors to feel, he's like, I knew it wasn't going to be good. Like, I knew that wasn't going to be your thing. So he was really, really awesome about it. Um, and yeah, you got to appreciate that. You know, he understands what he was doing when he designed the razor. And he understood that it isn't going to fit everybody's needs, wants, desires, or preferences. And that was cool because it's real easy. You criticize any kind of artisan, any manufacturer, any vendor. Um, they get fucking outraged and then all their fucking goons in the comment section get outraged and it becomes a big old disaster. But no, nah, that wasn't the situation. It, it was cool. It was really, really cool. So I was happy to see that because it, it does get tough. 
do, do I care when fucking random people talk shit in the comments? No. But it is annoying when artisans vendors foster that type of relationship with their fans to where they unleash them on anybody that speaks against them. It's just weird. It's just a weird, weird thing that I just never quite understood. As long as somebody is not attacking somebody in a personal nature, I don't understand why people get up in arms about anything. But it is what it is. So, super pumped up. Last week we had our first scrimmage game. Or only scrimmage. You only get one scrimmage game. They're high school kids. You can only put their bodies through so goddamn much. Had, our, had a scrimmage game. Went really, really well. Dominated up front as I expected after watching the film. Of course, obviously it wasn't perfect, but uh, our big guys up front took care of business. Linebackers played great. Safeties played great. A um, little wonkiness you know, from the skilled players on offense, but uh, it's okay. It's okay. And then now tomorrow. That's why I was really pumped up to get this video into net tomorrow. Or, to, or film it tonight so it's going to be up tomorrow morning because tomorrow is Friday. It is going to be our first official game of the season. And damn, dude, like, I'm thrilled. Like, seriously, like at the end of practice today, I could just feel like an uplift in energy. Not like I was dragging ass during practice, but there's just a certain vibe where you're like, damn, it's here. This is the day. First game of the season, we're getting it in. So both us and the team that we're playing lost a lot of seniors over this past year. So we're really going to see what we can do with some of the stars that, that took off, seeing if we're able to find the replacements and, and get these other like role players, so to speak, ready to go. The school itself isn't super far from us. Um, it's about 20 miles, but with traffic out here, it's going to be about an hour bus ride. So... Uh, that's a little bit of a trek, and especially if you lose a game like that, and you have an hour bus right after. It, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty damn miserable. So you always want to win every game, but when you have a little bit of a drive ahead of you, you feel it a little bit more, man, because it is so horrible, horrible. We have I have played a football game in the past where we had a two-hour drive. Or well, hour and a half on the bus. It was a little bit slower. We went out to Riverside, California, to play a very good team out there. Got our asses kicked. This was already about five years, uh, five six years ago. And yeah, that was about as whack of of a of a ride home you could imagine. So. We gotta win. We gotta win. I'm not in the mood to drive home an hour after a loss. So we're gonna, we're gonna get in. And, and I, honestly, I feel really comfortable in the preparation. We gotta make sure we stay on task, execute, and I think it's gonna be. I think we're gonna have a good time. I feel at peace because I know um, we did the the amount of preparation that we could we we packed in all the information that we could we taught we talked the kids up we coached them up and now it's one of those situations where the chips are going to fall where they where they may um bam, there we go all right is going to be the first pass with the plus plate, the more aggressive play for the Ellsworth Copper Kent. This is still a mild feeling head. Uh, it is right off the bat. This is a lot of growth I have on my face. This is probably about two weeks of growth. Um, oh, what was my last video? I don't know. Whenever my last video was, um, it's a good amount of growth. This amount of growth, I really, really struggled. I actually had to do a lot of buffing with the, the original plate to this.
And even though I'm still not getting the blade feel that I like, it is significantly easier to find the cutting angle. It is not leaving a bunch of hair behind. You see that? That's pretty, that's pretty not bad right there. I know the original uh, setting on it is it says uh, oh it would be a great daily driver. This right here would absolutely be appropriate for a daily driver. There's no harshness at all whatsoever. More blade feel than the original, but still not a lot. That was a lot of hair and it went through it. So the efficiency of it has jumped up quite a bit. Uh, it was just, it was flat out unenjoyable, the last one. Uh, the amount of hair left behind and I really, really was struggling to find a good, a, a good cutting angle. This one's, this one's much more intuitive. We'll still be much more on the mild side. Yeah, this soap, well, even while lathering it, it still has a funk. I'm, I'm not at all thrilled by this one. Oof. Sorry, Seth, I don't remember how you felt about this scent. You did you you did make sure to mention that you wanted me to see how I like the base, and simply. This is a really nice base. I don't know if it's still um, in production, but this is not bad at all. Look, you can see it. Now the second pass looks good. Nice sheen to it. The, no complaints. It's plenty slick. One reason I really struggle to like get up to do giveaways, and not that I don't like giving away stuff, I give away a lot of shit um, on the more personal side of things. But there's been probably three separate occasions where I've done giveaways on this channel. I don't do giveaways often, and this is the reason why people never claim the prize. And I'm not going to come on here six different videos trying to beg somebody to take a giveaway. We're, we're just not going to do that. So hopefully Miguel does it. Drops me a message, hits me up, lets me know that, that he wants to stuff. Because, yeah, that, that's just, it, just, it is an absolute drag that it just, again, never fails. Um, well, it does fail sometimes, but most of the time, the vast majority of the giveaways, and this is even an issue that Chris Bailey has, uh, we've talked about that he has had numerous times where people just will not claim their prize. And we shouldn't have to go chasing people. We want to reward people that regularly support the channel. So if you just pop in when there's a giveaway, um... That there's no real retention there. It just there's no real love going on in that situation. So it just it gets difficult to want to do the, the damn giveaways when they're not really paying attention. Don't claim them. They're still. I found a box actually re recently, um, Jumpin' Jack or something like that. It was like a Halloween themed soap that had beer in it. That person never claimed it. It's still in. The, I have it in a box. It's just sitting there. Um, so I was like, that's the kind of weird shit. Like, I don't know. So, all right. That was what? Second pass? Damn. I feel like I've had a lot of talking going on on this, on this, uh, this episode. I don't know. Do you call these episodes? Do we just say videos? It's not a TV show. It's not scripted, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the exact 
appropriate way to be uh, uh, talking about this. My third and final pass across the green, my favorite pass. Yeah, this scent is a no-go for me. If you know if they're still selling this scent, comment that comment that down below. I would appreciate it. But yeah, this is this is not doing it. Nope. Got a pimple right there. Luckily again, so mild, no blood. I didn't cut it. I could just feel that I went over it. These copper razors, my water's running hot right now. And dude, they retain so much heat. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Cool, well I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna rinse off, and then we'll come back for the final thoughts. All right, I'm back. Before I get into the final thoughts, I'm just gonna apply some old school aftershave I have left over from one of the runs I did. This was the lifestyle that was done with a collaboration from myself and Tiki Bar Soap. She didn't have splashes, I think, very long in her lineup, but I'll tell you, that splash was fucking fantastic. I have two more bottles of that stuff. I actually saved some on the side because I tried it, loved it so goddamn much. And then shortly after, that kind of company just kind of fell apart. I don't know what she was going through. It was just, it was just a whole mess, but I guess that's neither here nor there. Um, all right, so first off, we're going to go ahead and talk about the medium or plus plate. I say medium because this right here is medium to mild of aggression, but is absolutely 100% usable. That other plate, no good. I I could not see a purpose for it. This one right here is absolutely suitable for a daily driver, for somebody that just wants to get a nice mild shave, but it has enough blade feel to make it much more intuitive, easier to find the, the shaving angle, and it just, it was a delight. The, the hag soap, the vegan base, uh, it was damn good. Easy to lather, super goddamn slick. That's one thing that I've always felt about vegan soaps. A good vegan soap, the slickness of it is just off the charts. And yes, I know there's no way to measure it. I know that triggers some people, but you just feel it on your face. There's no, there's no way to measure your happiness, but you do feel happier some days than the other way. It's just a feeling. It just is what it is. If you can't accept it, then so fucking what. But um, yeah, just super slick, super enjoyable to use that scent. No good. The patchouli fucking absolutely ruins it. You can smell the funk. Everything on that damn ingredient list sounds so good. And then the, just the patchouli just hit, kicks you in the face. It just gives it a real just muddy, just ick. It's just ick. And um, so that, that's really a da damn unfortunate. But all in all, that's a good base. I would look forward to uh, using other soaps in that base as well. Uh, but of course, the hag situation, being from overseas, no alcohol in the aftershave. So that's, again, a little bit of a bummer. Would love to see hags and some of these overseas companies do ca collaborations with American artisans to get alcohol-based splashes here to us, man. That would be a great, a great situation. So with that being said, if you have made it to this point of the video, you know how much I appreciate you. Thank you so much for continuing to come by, sticking with me, supporting the channel supporting the content and just showing me so much love the shave community will continue to be um just a space that i absolutely love uh, just again thank you guys thank you so much and wish us luck wish us luck tomorrow baby first game of the season or today by the time you watch this it'll be today so wish us luck so stay safe stay healthy and i'll catch you on the next shave